Hello, I have made some upgrades to my magic system. That's right. I ripped more spells directly out of Noida. Let me just get a wand real quick and show you what I've done. It's a stick. Now imagine it's the beginning of UHC. You've just gotten a stick. You take a look at it and sneak plus use item to convert to a wand. Cost one level. You see that? Wands have stats now. There's a cast delay, a recharge time, mana per second, and a maximum mana. Now how do we go about getting ourselves a spell? Well, we need only turn to the dirt around us. That's right. In this game, every item can be used as a spell. Let's see what dirt is. Spell, launch dirt. Cast delay, an extra 0.75, that's a slow one. Mana cost of 80, and the item is consumed on use. We can put that in our wand and Bam! It uses the XP bar as a little display of how much mana you have left. As I showed in the last video, you can of course chain spells together. For this, we're gonna need a better wand. To find a better wand, you need only head underground to a geo. Here we can mine the amethyst for these precious amethyst shards. Sneak plus use item to convert to a wand cost three levels. We can cast some pretty strong spells with this thing. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so much fun. Let's see if we can't get ourselves a reusable spell real quick. Aha, poppies. These will cast a spark bolt. Oh yeah, and the graphics for the bolt have been upgraded too. Look at that. What other types of wand exist, you may be asking? Well, you can also turn a golden shovel into a wand, a blaze rod, or even a diamond shovel. The stats every time will be random. Let's have a look at this gold shovel. The supernatural pole. Oh. Ooh, that's not really any better than the stick. How about a blaze rod? The pole of confidence. This one's pretty good. That's not the only thing I've been working on. I've also been adding new spells. Now I haven't assigned items for all of these yet, so I implemented a system for debugging. I can now put any spell I want onto a scroll. I can get myself the legendary black hole spell. Let's try this baby out. Oh. It's majestic. It's majestic and terrifying. We grab a birch log, which can of course be used for this powerful sheep spell. Now we can demonstrate that the black hole sucks from, from, from pretty, pretty darn good, I would say. It does a good job. Okay, maybe I gotta up the range on that a bit. It's quite a powerful item. It just tears through absolutely everything. Oh god, it's so much fun to use. Imagine how quickly you could build things using this. You could set yourself up a trap in three seconds flat. Another excellent and original spell is the Stone Cutter, which casts Chainsaw, a spell with negative 100 cast delay and a mana cost of just one. So even in the crappiest of wands, you can spam the hell out of this thing. Now what does it do? Well, it destroys the block right in front of you. Anything that can be mined with a stone pickaxe will get instantly eradicated. And yes, it too damages mobs. Next up, one of my personal favorites, the Burst of Air. Air Blast. This spell does no damage and just fires forward a plume of smoke. This Air Blast, though, does not mess around. It will really send entities flying. <laughs> now, since this is being designed with the intent of it being used in a UHC game, everybody knows what the most important part of UHC is. It's traps. And so to facilitate that, I've added a great feature. Dispensers can cast spells. We can give this guy our burst of air wand, and then we can use it to launch players around. Oh, where am I? Is it balanced for survival? Heck no. Is it fun? Heck yeah! You can put any spell you want in these things, and when it activates, it'll cast it. It does still respect the wand's mana and everything, so it's not entirely busted. Now, what this basically means is there's a new optimal strategy for PvP. You get as close to a player as you can, and you just launch them up into the stratosphere, where they then take half their health in fall damage. So to help compete with this, I've added a new spell, Summon Cloud. This will summon a big soft thing that gives you slow falling and prevents fall damage when you land in it. You're up here and you want to jump down there. No water bucket, no hay bale, no crafting ingredients for a boat. All you gotta do 
is shoot one of these and you'll land safely. I think maybe the most obvious spell of all is fireball. And of course that goes on a fire charge. It, what do you expect it to be? You know what else is all but inevitable? Teleports. We have got four different teleport spells here. First up, the small teleport bolt. Then we've got the regular teleport bolt. Much longer range. Very useful for getting around town, escaping attackers, and taking a lot of fall damage. Then there's the swapper bolt. Bam. And the sheep have switched positions. And then, the return teleport. Imagine for a second, you're in the latest Minecraft manhunt, running from your... mans. You approach the cliff, you cast a return bolt, wait three seconds, and then jump for it. You get teleported right back up to the top and then fall to your death. But it's okay, you can just edit that part out. And that's basically what I've done so far. I've added all these different types of wands, the dispensers, the different spells. Yeah, 